Hi, welcome to this video. It's almost uh, 1st of March 2018, so there will be a new release. And I thought let's uh, install 6.4.1 and then uh, see what the differences are. So this uh, topic of the video is what changed. So what is different 6.4.1 against 6.5.1, which also gives me uh, a way to, to check, uh, did I mention everything on um, the articles in info. So we're going to install the 6.4.1 version and then we're going to upgrade. In the meantime, I'm going to pause. Okay, we've installed everything, we're rebooting. And this is still version 2366, I think. Uh, we are now at 237. Uh, anyway, we'll see it pretty soon here on updates. I'm going to do it like this. Normally I would do, let's show what I normally would do. PKSYUA, which is an alias for update everything. Anything and everything. So control C. And we have a lot to update. But what I want to keep separate is for a while even, uh, I mean, is all the Arch Merge packages. So there are a lot of Arch Merge packages in there. And the question is, okay, this, this is us. So, you know, this is Arch Merge. All the rest is Arch Linux. We don't have any control over it. It's um, the way it is. This is everything else. Okay. So, yeah, I do want to update, but let's wait for the Arch Merge guys. So, not these guys. Don't want them. I want them separately later on. So we can analyze what's new in this new version. Like so. Apply. And there we go. We've applied everything, but... Arch merge. Okay, go ahead, commit. So let's pause the video there again. Okay, I believe we're done. Uh, this terminal is now fixed. The only thing you have to do it as a tip, you press spacebar and you're at the bottom. So if you need to scroll and scroll and scroll, just press spacebar and you're always at the bottom. So done. Um, beside these guys, of course, I'm going to reboot. Why? Because I saw kernel coming in. So with, ever, with every new kernel that comes in, you better test it out and see if you boot again, if everything works as it should be. Okay, we're booting. That was of course, okay, fine. Seen a few series of it. Looking for a wallpaper that suits me for this video. What I'm pressing is Alt arrow to the right, Alt arrow to the right, and uh, Alt arrow up is going to fix this wallpaper for now. So we have uh, updates to do. So we could go over them one by one. So pseudo pacman minus s y y u. Why I'm using this one? Well, because it's actually coming from our repos. So Control C. These are the things we've changed. These are the elements that are new, arc themes, git, etc, etc. But some of them are just not new in the sense that they have been, uh, uh, well, the, the, the number is, is administratively changed because of a license, for instance, that we've added and stuff like that. But nothing essential has changed for the user. So Arch Merge Arc Themes, we have, um, new themes if we go to the page there's always going to be continue oh yeah sorry but actually it should tell people look people there is an arch merge hello so click on that one and then you'll get the page you ever the page that you need is the core page everything is in here not yet of course since it's um, still first of march so here will come arch merge 6.5.1 
But in the meantime, you can always look at the beta things. So the beta from both ISOs can be watched, can be monitored, and this is what you'll get. So you'll get four arc themes, more arc themes, okay? So if we do sudo pacman minus s, uh, sorry, yeah, that like so, arch merge, and then arc themes, then you'll get, uh, let's see if we can make it bigger, again, type it again, why am I typing again? Old version, new version, net change, download size, meaning you see that it changes, there is an update, something ha must have been added since 70 megabytes more. So, okay, there you go, and we installed the packages. You can always investigate packages as well here, at the repo, so there is this repository, Archmarch Linux repo, where we just installed this one, 6.4.1, double click it, dependencies, files, and here we have the Arc Botticelli. Is that one of the new ones? So Botticelli, Niagara, Orchid, Bunch, and these guys will be in here, Arc, Botticelli, and so on. And we can select them as, uh, well, if you want, okay? So that's one of the updates we did. Okay. What else? I'm going to get the things that changed, not the, uh, well, essentially changed, not the other ones. What changed as well? Pseudo Pacman minus S arch merge I3 WM. That's one that changed. You can see the versions, net upgrade size. There is something different here. Okay, done. Now we should check it out since it's not installed. It will not work. It will never work. It's in etcscale.config i3. I've been telling you in many videos, you should add of use the super F5 key. And the super F5 key is what launches or shortcuts is what launches melt, compare and merge your files. So we are going to compare what did we get? We got an etc scale, etc scale, start typing, etc scale, control H, hidden away, dot config. We have an i3 folder, but we have also an i3 folder from our own. Of course, if we are not using H, uh, i3, don't bother with it, but if you are, things have changed and we can compare. So yes, so there is some differences. I also got rid of the these lines, so there won't be so much difference in future releases. So just a date change, the license has been added or deleted actually. So this is the one from uh, the version the new version, this is the new version to the left, and that's your system to the right. So the license has been deleted, which is actually a mistake. But anyway, we can fix that in the next release. So delete, delete, delete. That's all we changed. No, cancel. We've changed something else. Down here, we've changed a line. We can't read it. Preferences, classic, light, done. Oh yeah, indeed. So I've changed the fade delta to five. So it's gonna be a little bit faster in response time. So the content is actually building up your shade and your um, fading away. So this effects on your windows, if we can call it windows on i3. And uh, that's changed now. So it's a little bit faster. Okay. We've changed this one. We've added Rofi to the party. So Rofi is uh, a, uh, well, it can be a lot of things. And maybe the best thing to just Google it and see Rofi GitHub. You can select um, your wireless with it. You can select the applications with it. You can use it as a D menu turn uh, changer, a window switcher, voila. So, Check it out, we've included it. It happens when you press Super 11 or Super 12, but we didn't include it into XFCE as it's not really 
an XFC thing, but it's in open box and it's an i3 and it actually came from Awesome because we're developing Awesome, Awesome, and the first uh, of March we'll make articles for it. So we have another shortcut, it seems. Control, Alt, Return is also a terminal. So Control, Alt, Return will also help. Okay. Then the Rofi team selector, which is Control Alt R, execute the Rofi team so we can change the themes. So we have now Rofi included. So we're back, um, well, up to date. So this is what it means to be rolling. We can't, well, we update, but the things that in your in your personal folders, it's up to you to decide if you want our updates or not. So like I said, these updates in the future won't. These dates will not be there anymore. So less of these error things. All right, like so. Save. So if you're not into i3, then you just leave everything as is. I'm just going to pause here and see if anything relevant, relevant pops up. So no, everything else was just the date that's out now. If you do view refresh, you see again if everything is the same. If you click on here, you just see anything that's new or modified, so not the same. So everything is okay. We're cool. It's done. So we've upgraded i3. What else? So we've done this one. There's nothing changed here, nothing changed here, nothing here. ISO scale grid. Mm. I think I introduced Rofi settings there. So yeah, we should do that one. So why is whoops? Why is um, Arch Merch as it is? Because it has lots of tweaking and settings hidden away, and it's not yours time to spend anymore on all these little things like a calculator that should be nice and all that thing stuff so there is indeed a little difference between both of them and it's going to be let's let's uh, bookmark it otherwise we'll have to go every time again scale so take it up here and it, it needs twice <laughs> to grab it and then you have the scale here ctrl h dot config Something is going to change. We have 30 items, free space. Okay, install. Yes, we have 31 items. So what happens? I think the only thing that happened was Rofi. So we have this application and we have this configuration. So it's using now the Android notification RASI, which is the extension of our Rofi. Okay. Um, there might have been small changes. I do believe I've made these icons a little bit bigger. If I'm not mistaken, these icons are a little bit bigger. Um, what could we do? We could log out and see if it's standard OK. It's now changed. Not really. But when we, uh, yeah, when we install the 6.5.1 it's then small rather than smaller which is a little bit better for the icons so that's that what else what did we change as well so though yeah arrow up eric arrow up it's actually enough to do pseudo backman minus syu is enough the other one is really getting everything in again really synchronizing getting rid of everything and reloading so this is just updating so did we change anything here yes obey logout teams is new we have uh, added our teams and in consequence we have been adding also the ob the arch merge ob and logout themes. Let's make it bigger. So we see the difference. We don't see the difference. Control C. 
let's make it bigger i told you so 6.2.8 4.1 net change so yes we did indeed add something there so the ob logout configuration there has been changed to the etc that's something different we should check that out we should check that out what happens ob logout is this one super x if we have an open box or no that's it open box and awesome as well we've done that there as well we get these icons to to quit with these six seven eight icons in in the middle okay so if you're open box and you want those icons then you need to do something it's in the etc ob logout so we have this one this one and this one okay if you compare them again open oh sorry compare then we added some lines as you can see these are the new elements the new things we've added the things that we saw on the website there so if you want to have the niagara the faba the botticelli icons which are the blue kind of icons these are pink and i think these are more greenish so if you want these you need to control a control c it and you need to change well this code needs to go in this code so this is just the new release and this is the actual being used so open it with sublime text Control a delete Control v save and you have the new code available if you're an open box this is an open box logout so done that what else let's move up again so open box configs what's he doing there mm -hmm. there's nothing changed here but i think open box configs has been changed so sudo arch merge minus s this is of course an easier way to install it just just say install everything and then copy paste everything from etc scan to your home folder but hey this takes a bit longer but we can show you and i can check what i changed so i can add it to the website open box configs did we change anything not big enough he says Control c again so this version that version net change 60 meg 0 0.60 megabytes okay install me this thing it's installed in etc scale open box fine let's get rid of it let's get rid of it and then we have our file manager we have scale we have config and we have the open box so this thing is what we got something new is in there the question is what is it so super f5 directory comparison we go to the scale um, deeper to the scale to the config to the open box something changed in open box again if you're not using open box who cares so don't check it out it's okay and in the config in the open box we have changed something compare and here you see the script that i added it's uh, in your um, on archmerch.com there's an article and a video about hey guys do you know you're not using all your cores so if you have eight cores you're using one of them so yes compiling building compressing everything takes more time with one core working so yeah i want this thing here so i get it and we have some shortcuts here as well for rofi so rofi windows f11 windows f12 so yeah i want those shortcuts and for Control alt r i want that in open box as well that's what we did we added some keyboard shortcuts save done this is the easiest and the best analysis you can do now we have the shortcuts in open box okay bye bye Control alt t what else is there um, mm -hmm. no, 
don't think so. We change something here. Let's start, in, let's, uh, start with getting rid of all the things that have not been changed. So we have a better view. So arch merge common is okay. Arch merge conkey collection is okay. Arch merge docs is just administration stuff. And then arch merge blank themes did not create more blank themes or 100 themes. It's enough, I think. But well, one day we'll make one more. Polybar. No, did not change that. Polybar gets the Slimlock themes. We did not change that. It says uh, to a nice wallpaper when you lock everything, you lock your system. Slimlock. Okay, let's get rid of those already. What else do we have then? Termite teams, we did not change that. It just adds a license there. Let's get rid of this Sita resampler. It's not from Arch Merch at all. Go for it. That exists. Oh, we have to fix that. He thinks it already exists there. That's for later. So, OB menu generator. OB menu generator. No. Did not change that. Nor did I change the pipe menus. Nor did I make more tin teams. And the wallpapers are not changed at all. Just a license edit. All right, open box themes. I wonder if we did change something there, I think. Pseudo backman minus s arch merge open box themes. But, oops, but we don't need to do anything for it. Why? It just installs, it just updates. And okay, zero megabytes means there is no change. So, okay. That's just an uh, administrative update for me. So everything is 6.4.1. Leaves us these guys, and these have net updates. So let's take a look at the Arch Merge. Pseudo Batman minus S Arch Merge XFC, that one. There is indeed a small change here, and it's not going to be the license. What it is, probably is, so I'm going to change it back. It's probably going to be this element here, smaller and small. It's a number, it's one or two. So if you go to Super F5 again, directory comparison, and you say, look, I'm going to check out what Eric changed in my home folder. There is a config, and this is for all the people using XFCE. Change something in here. So, what is it? I think it's just that thing I just changed back. So, um, scale, config, XFCE, open, compare. What did I change? This is unimportant, this is your own settings. The whisker menu. Like I said, I changed the numbers from one to, uh, from one to two, yeah. That's it. And yeah, this is just your latest uh, uh, 
program that you ran so that's okay and that's it actually so that's it i just changed the icon size from one to two which is this choice up here if you reload again if you log off log on eh, you get this number two so actually this one okay fine uh, did we change anything about tuna because it's another file another folder that's that's uh, part of uh, your system and part of xfce it's your file manager did we change anything no nothing changed here that's your settings fine all right coming close to the end so yes did not forget anything maybe one license i forgot there in i3 arch merge what do we have left no let's do it like so we have arch merge root left I'm not sure if i changed something there checking for conflicting files oh yes of course that's uh, because of this little thing there i'll solve it later so arch merge root git yes run so it's installed in etc scale fine so again if it's there you have to do something direct to comparison you have to check it out other in scale actually it's just this one it's going to be a little bit more difficult why because it's your home directory and so many things have changed in your home directory since you started <laughs> you see what i mean those things are not necessary. A conky, econf, no, wouldn't do that. Here is Rofi. So that's going to, you need to add those, Rofi, if you want to have the Rofi configuration. So that's done. Uh -huh. All the rest. Everything is that's gray means it's not here. This is a working environment and virtual box, as you can see. But um, everything else is, is uh, not needed, is not wanted even uh, in your system. So by, with this selection here, you can see if you can deselect and select whatever is the same or not see it when it's the same. So everything is now uh, OK. And the only thing we did was Rofi, get it over there. So we can use an open box in i3. And that's it, guys. I hope the movie is not too long, but I hope it's also instructive and uh, you learn from something from it. So we are rolling, but sometimes you need to do something uh, to, well, to update some shortcuts and some extra applications like Rofi. All right. Cheers. Enjoy. <laughs>